everything as well. But so everything I'm doing today is stuff that a, a, a beginning turner can do. Um, and it's fun to do, and it's especially fun to give away as a gift. So, I'll show you what they are. There's a couple of guys on TV I used to watch, and they used to call it a foster bit. They used to drive me crazy. What size? Pardon? What size? The one that I got in there is like an in, inch and a quarter. Smaller than the circumference outside the circumference. Yeah, yeah, you want it smaller than the outside circumference. And when you use a large portion of a bit like this, you turn your speedway down or else you burn the bit or end up cracking the wood too a lot of times. So I just gotta make sure this laser. I'm just gonna use the bowl gouge just to cut this end down. I made it so that the hole is tight and I'll, when I stick it in here and I bring this forward, that's my depth of the hole right now. So I'll take this and uh, put a little mark on the outside. I want to give myself about a quarter inch bottom or something, so I'll, I'll part it right about there. When I part, I, uh, I will usually make a hole that's wider than my part because if you don't, you're going to start burning your tool up if you're going in pretty far. So I'll take and part on both sides until I get down to where I want it. Okay. 
Okay, now this angle right here. Now, it's like 45 degrees, 90 degrees to what? I can't hear you. 90 degrees to what? It looks like about 45 It's an inclusive angle. This side to that side is 90 degrees. Okay, I, got if you, I think the camera might pick that up too, I'm not sure. <laughs> I got about 80. So now the only other thing I want to do is I want to measure the inside of my cylinder that I made. So that's the inside of the cylinder. It's uh, about an inch and uh, three sixteenths. And I'm going to make an inch and okay. Just, a, just, a, just under an inch in the name, and that's going to be how big I want to make this cylinder. Most of it's going to be eyeballing, and when I get close, then I'll, I'll do the measurement. done like with a parting tool if you want to use a bowl gouge or a detail gouge or uh, any of those it's fine I like to use bowl gouges to me are my most comfortable tool only because I turn so many bowls so I still got to take off about just like close to a quarter inch so because you can't put it back on, you know. So now I'm getting very close. Yeah, I'm going to stay there. Thing. 
<laughs> so it's called it'll blow your mind. <laughs>